ashwanye numugabo cyangwa numugore na warakubwira ati yisirandambiye and that one who divorced from his wife or from his husband he's like i'm so tired of this world uwo bintu bitari kugenda neza ufite den rya bake nufite nibindi byose arabwira ati yisirashaje ndashaka kuyivamo now those people who have debts to the bank debts to other people they will tell you that i'm so down i'm i'm really tired of this world ukubiswe cyangwa urenganye urenganyijwe nundi muntu na wakumvisa rayihaze now does one who will rimirwumvikana kwisi yose on that day we're going to speak one language icyo giye tuzaririmba indirimbo imwe kwisi yose on that day we sing one song icyo giye tuzaturi mu bwami butagira matiko on that day will be in a kingdom without any argumentation there will be no argument na giye cyo giye imana potere gitwaza yaravuze ngo amarira yose imana izayahanagura ari kwisuzumye ko ayo marira ari amarira warize kuvuga umurimo w'imana now a servant of god apostle paul gitwaza one says that all the tears god is going to shed to wipe them away but he's going to verify first if the tears that was shed was because of his own work umukozi w'imana gitwaza yavuze 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 amagambo akomeye aravuga ngo twatereye imisozi duterera amataba abantu baduseka ariko ku munsi yesa azagarukaho tuzaba twambaye ishema rikomeye cyane the servants of god of god again apostle paul it was he says that we've climbed mountains and closed the valleys people were laughing about us but let me tell you when jesus comes back he is there going to see us laughing along him yavuze ko kandi kugaruka kwa yesu ari ishema ku bantu bamwizeye and he also says that the coming back of his old kuko ibyo abantu batekereza bibwira no mu mitima yabo nibikinezeje imana because why you tell in yourself and even what you think in your mind it's no longer praising god na kindi kintu wakora ngo uhindure sisha kubashya there is nothing else a human being can do to make this world change into new cyeretse yesu ufite ububasha bwo guhindura ibintu byose kubashya but instead of jesus who has the power and might to change things into from the old one to new things ibyakozwe ni numwa igice cya 20 na 5 umurongo wa gatano ravuga ngo byose ndabihindura bishya now in the book of act chapter 20 verse 5 it says i'm going to change everything into new things now allow me to proclaim something to your life that jesus is going to change things in your life into new things we are going to know the real evil power that people you no musi haza bakayunguruzo kayungururi ibintu abantu bagatangira kubona ibintu bitari bisanzwe it's a day where blind people are going to be and blind and, and we are going to see the real thing which happens now on the reveal of history day there is no power every kings of every kingdom, they are going to stand in the presence of god those whom we called powerful people the bible says that they are going to stand in the presence of god Whomever we crapped from saying that they are real stars they're going to stand also in the presence of god Greetings to all of you who are following us. Ariko kandi tubifurize umugisha w'Imana. And also wish you a blessing from God. Nkuko bisanzwe nitwa Spirit Hakizimana. As usual my name is Spirit Hakizimana. Kuko ngira ngo turaziranye cyane. I think you know me well. Ariko keshi fashe umwanya na none wo kubashimira ko mudukurikira. Ba allow me to take the moment to thank you that you follow us. Mukomeje guhagararana natwe muri uyu murimo mu buryo bumwe cyangwa ubundi. You keep on standing with us in one or another way in this new uh, good of work. Aya masengesho yanyu mudusengera agenda dukora mu murimo mu buryo budasanzwe huko twumva imbaraga zituruka ho muri zidushyigikira. The players you pray for us touch us in one or another way because of the power that you use us. Ushatse kuvuga ko umuhate wanyu atari ubusa ku mwami I wanted to tell you that your courage is not of nothing in the presence of God Kandi Yesu naza zabahingororano z'imirimo myinshi mukora And when Jesus came back he's going to compensate you because of your support to his work Iyo munsi tugiye kuganira ibintu bitatu bizatuma Yesu agaruka 
We are going to talk about three things which are going to make Jesus come back for you. Many people are asleep. They are not thinking about when Jesus is coming back. And if we accept that Jesus once was once here, we also have to accept the fact that he's coming back. Allow me to read for you the good the good word of God in the book of Act chapter 1 verse 9 there is a man Amen. Now let's read the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 9. It says, And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and the cloud received him out of their sight. Verse 10, And while they looked, uh, they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparels, which, which also said, Yo men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, Heaven shall so come in like a manner as you have seen him go into heaven. Amen. 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 Uh, Why is Jesus coming back? I don't know if you want Jesus to come back. Most of the time when people's businesses and activities are going well and then you bump in telling him Jesus is coming back, he feels that like you are wasting your time towards him. But either we speak about it or not, you have to accept the fact that Jesus is coming back. It's something you should live your life thinking about. It's your normal life. It should be your usual life to think about Jesus coming back. The first question should ask, why is Jesus coming back? That's the first what is the unfinished business that he didn't complete, what, which is going to make him come back? Jesus completed his work in earth, but there is something, there is a promise he gave that he has to come back to fulfill. Now, the disciples that we just read in the book of Acts have been with Jesus. They lived with him. And when he was taken up, they were so negatively affected by him going up in heaven. They did not want him to go back. They did not want him to go away from them. But when Jesus was about to go, he, was, he told them, I'm not going to leave you as orphans. Instead, I'm going to send you a helper who is the Holy Spirit. Jesus knows what we, what, what we want or what's needed to reach where he wants to be. Now, the Holy Spirit that he left us with is our communication line with him. He, he, he's even the one who is telling us that Jesus is coming back. That is so why we are so lucky to have the information to know that Jesus is on his way coming back. Now, among the, th the three things which are going to make Jesus come back, one of them is what they call to call back the history. Why is he coming to stop the history? 
amateka nibwo yesa azatwikurura ibintu byose byari bihishe Now during this history of detentions is when Jesus is going to show what is hidden Abantu bafite ibintu bambariyeho abantu bafite ibintu batwikiriye bafite ibintu bahisha bagize amabanga yabo ariko Yesu naza azatwikurura ibintu Now people has things they are hiding people has unhidden things Now Jesus is coming back to unhidden and to show what they are hiding Uyu munsi wo kugaruka kwa Yesu ntabwo ari umunsi mwiza ni umunsi uzatera abantu kugira isoni batigeze bagira Now on the coming back of Jesus is not a good day as people think it's a day which is going to make people be humiliated of what they've been doing Aba waruzi ko bakomeye aba waruzi ko ari abastari mu mana icyo giye cyo kugaruka kwa Yesu kuzatuma ibintu byose bimera nk'ibijya ku mugaragaro usange ntabwo bari bo Those strong people and those powerful people in gospel that you think they are in Jesus then you are going to know what they are really hiding and know how they've been treating themselves towards God Uyu munsi ni wo Yesu azabwira abantu ko atigeze abamenya On this day on that day is the day that Jesus is going to tell the people that I've never known you Niryo jambo niryo jambo riteye ubwoba kurenza yandi That's the fearful word that Jesus is going to say on that day Ahuza ba wararirimiye mu rusengero Mhm Ahuza ba warasenze mu rusengero Why you've been singing and even praying in the church Ahuza ba waratanza amaturo And where you, you put your offerings Ahuza ba warakoze imirimo myinshi mu itorero ryawe cyangwa ahandi And where you've been feeling that you served so much in your work in your work and your church Ahuza ba uri umushumba Where you be a pastor Ahuza ba uri umuntu ukomeye wari ukomeye And where you be you feel like I'm powerful in Ariko wagera imbere ya Yesu akakubwira ko atakuza But when you reach in the presence of Jesus he will tell you I've never known you Ni kintu kizaba gikomeye kizaba giteye isoni It's a very powerful and shameful word that uyu, one would hear in that day kugaruka kwa Yesu On the coming back of Jesus Uyu munsi no munsi uzaba uteye ubwoba It's a dreadful day Kuko ni huzamenya neza uwo mwabana guwariwe Because that's when you are going to understand who you live with Uzabona abantu bambaraga makote meza nabantu bambaraga imyenda myiza abantu bari bari muri high class ariko Yesu natwikurura usange bari abantu babi Now you see those people who put on nice suits people who go to church every Sunday but Jesus is going to unhide the real person behind that suit and then you will be surprised Ushobora kuba uri umwicanye tutabizi You might be a killer and we don't know that Ushobora kuba uri umugome tutabizi You might be evil and we don't know that Ariko kugaruka kwa Yesu kuzabitwikurura abantu bazakumenya bo ari But the coming back of Jesus is going to reveal the true you the real you and people will know who you really are Iri jambo rivuga guca amateka ni ugutwikurura ibintu byose byari bitwikiriye Now this word which means revealing the history meaning that they are going to reveal everything which was Aha ni what tuzamenyera imbaraga abantu benshi bakoresha Now this is the time we are going to know the real evil power that people use No musi hazaba bakayunguruzo kayungurura ibintu abantu bagatangira kubona ibintu bitari bisanzwe It's a day where blind people are going to be unblinded and, and we are going to see the real thing which happens Kuri umuso wo guca amateka Now on the reveal of history day Na ukomeye uzabuhari There is no power Abami bibihugu Every kings of every kingdom Bazahagarara imbere y'Imana They are going to stand in the presence of God Abakitaga ko bakomeye Those whom we called powerful people Bibiliya ivuga ko bose bazahagarara imbere y'Imana The Bible says that they are going to stand in the presence of God kwakomeye amashi tuvuga ko ari abastari bakora neza Whomever we cropped from saying that they are real stars Bazahagarara imbere y'Imana They are going to stand also in the presence of God Ariko ijambo rikomeye Yesu ashobora kubabwira But the powerful word that Jesus might tell Bizabaza kurenza yandi Which are going to be hurtful more than others Mu kubona abantu barushye bakora imirimo myinshi Is it people who wasted their time working for God Imana ibabwira ko itigeze ibabona God turning back and tell them I've never seen you uwo musi ni umusi uzabutoroshye it's a very dreadful day ni umusi ukwiriye gutekereza it's a day that you should think about na uzatanga ruswa no one is going to give a bribe na muntu uza 
There is no bribe on that day. You feel like you are so good at manipulating people. That's not gonna work. We're not gonna go in heaven when you don't deserve it. And you who you think that you hide in things by that day will be revealed. I want to tell you fear that day but also miss that day. On that day people who took away from other people things I know that sometimes that people take away your things and they cause on that day things that you stole from people such as houses, plots on that day they are going to be revealed people will call you a thief there is going to be a testimony there is going to be people who testify against you that's the first thing which is going to happen on the coming back of Jesus because of fear things are going to lose their control now because of that dreadful day things are going to lose their control such as cars, airplane and even this internet everything is going to be into that dreadful day because the great king the king of the world the world and even the heaven will be back there will be no other announcement we've been announcing this that Jesus is on his way back and, and now allow me to tell you that people actually understand it and you should be one of them allow me to say one more thing the second thing which is going to make Jesus come back is to changing things into new things things in this world is too old are too old even people in this, oh, this world are old even their thought is old because what you tell in yourself and even what you think in your mind it's no longer pleasing God there is nothing else a human being can do to make this world change into new but instead of Jesus who has the power and mighty to change things into from the old one to new things now in the book of Acts chapter 20 verse 5 it says I'm going to change everything into new things now allow me to proclaim something to your life that Jesus is going to change things things in your life into new things. Now why are they going to change into new things? Because the way people think in their mind it's too old. They have a lot of jealousy into them. A lot of angry and sad thoughts into them. So, so that's why Jesus is coming back to change those thoughts into new things thoughts. Now the sorrow, the sadness and even the loneliness that you feel in you, do not worry Jesus is coming back Hallelujah. to make them new in your life. Amen. There are things that God is going to change into new things. That that God is going to change into new things. Either you like it or not, God is going to change things into new things. What was impossible to in your life, what was impossible to your friends, God is going to make them possible. 
Have faith with me so that we receive new things from God. New things in our lives. Jesus does not only change things to be new. I've been saying that things are old. But it's not like they're physically old, but their thoughts, the thoughts of people are more old. Now that describes that for people, for God to change things into new, he also has to change the thoughts of people into new thoughts. Because when you talk to people, you find that that they are really, you know, arguing about things which exist. They all, the, the, the poor the people, the old people looks like they are angry, they are very sad. They claim that I'm so hungry. And that one who divorced from his wife or from his husband, he's like, I'm so tired of this world. Now those people who have debts to the bank, debts to other people, they will tell you that I'm so down, I'm, I'm really tired of this word. Now those one who will be turned or those who are misjudged by other people would also claim that they are tired of this word. But allow me to proclaim to you that those things that you're complaining about, it's a matter of time. Jesus is going to change them into new things for you. And do not think that he's going to do it in your ways. He's going to do different things from the way you think about it, but they're going to be better than you think. Jesus is not going to come to avenge you. But he's also but he's coming back to avenge his blood that was spread on the cloth, but people did not understand the value of his own blood. And you who never believed or who never understood the value of the blood of Jesus Christ, which was spread on the cloth, then whomever he's going to punish, you are among of them. Now let me tell you, don't you think that on that dreadful day, Jesus is coming to fight for you or to, to stand on your side. But on that day, Jesus is going to come and punish whoever did not believe in him. Whomever he's standing beside of today is right now. He's doing right now. Do not that way that he's going to do something else on that day. Now don't you think that people usually say that he's going to put to push away all the tears that we cried. Now let me tell you the tears that all we shed are not about Jesus. The tears that we cried because we are supposed to cry. The tears that we cried because we lost our people. Now, those are not the tears that Jesus is going to shed away. Because whomever lost his people, the crown. Now, the tears that God is going to wipe away, that Jesus is going to wipe away, are the tears we shed for people who are in sins, for people who do not know who is Jesus. The tears that we shed because of his own We've been crying because of the people who do not know about Jesus. We cried because of the work of God, feeling more tired because of the Now those tears that we shed, Jesus is going to wipe them out. 
what is the kubgumurima wima? Now a servant of God, Apostle Paul Gitwaza once says that all the tears God is going to shed to wipe them away, but he's going to verify first if the tears that was shed was because of his own work. Umukosiba na Gitwaza yavuze 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 amagamba kome aravango tuatere imisozi dutere ramataba abantu baduseka ariko kumusi yesa zagarukaho the servants of God, of God, again, Apostle Paul Gitwaza, he says that we've climbed mountains and closed the various people were laughing about us. But let me tell you, when Jesus comes back, he is there going to see us laughing along him. And he also says that the coming back of Jesus is applied to people who had faith in him. I really love Apostle Paul Gitwaza. He's a very good apostle. Ichindi cha nari nchaka kuvuga Yesu na garu kachaga tatu nukuza kuima uga mibege. Now the third thing that the third thing which is going to make Jesus come back is to declare His kingdom and to show how powerful the kingdom of heaven is. Icho jeh ni buga zavuga kona wundi buga miburi ho. That's when Jesus is going to declare that there is no other kingdom. And now, and also, that's when we are going to be celebrating, dancing, and uh, proclaiming that the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, was revealed to us. By then, we are going to be kings and sons of kings. We are going to be protocoled on the higher level. That's when we be given back the value we lost in this world. That's when people will understand the God we serve. That's when we are going to see the heroes of faith. The time Jesus will declare his kingdom. And he, a good singer sang that. Then Hallelujah. Jesus is going to come in his kingdom a and remove all the sorrows. And then he will change all our things into new things. By that time, blind people would see those people who can know will be walking. Everyone will be dancing. People who do not have some organs on their on their body will all have them to be able to dance. On that day, we're going to speak one language. On that day, we sing one song. On that day, we'll be in a kingdom without any argument. There will be no argument. There will be no judgments. We, are, we will be rejoicing in the kingdom of Jesus. We'll be speaking about powerful and strong history. We'll be walking around speaking about the victory of Jesus on the cross of glory. That's when the devil will be very angry at it. And whomever, and whomever served him will be crying along him. But us who had faith in Jesus, we've been very good times rejoicing with our Jesus. Now I'm inviting you to be with us. I'm calling you to be with me in those celebrations. The party you think you are in today are so small considered on the parties you in the kingdom of God we will be having permanent parties mother, not these temporary parties we have here on earth
ahantu heza cyane now when you see us fighting trying to make our ways in this world do not laugh to us it's because we know soon or later we are going to be standing in a very higher place of heaven ndagira ngo sengane nawe na allow me to play with you kuko tuzakomeza kuganira byishi kandi byiza because we we'll keep on talking about good news and very good things niba wari urukije ushobora kufasha umwanzuro kutegereza umwami na if you are following me i know you might have took a decision of following jesus iyamburi byaha byose na remove all the sins that you have in you kuremo kamere y'icyaha remove the things the thoughts of we injize mo kamere y'ubumana and enter the the thing that the soul of jesus ibyo ngivyo numara kubikora cyo now after doing that tuzabana muri buri ya bwawe we are going to be together in that heaven of gira yesu ibyaha byawe tell jesus all your sins bgira yesu ibikugoya nibigutera tell jesus all that is a fighting against you hanyuma turagira ngo tugusengere imana kandi wakira ubwami bw'imana now let me pray for you so that you receive the kingdom of god reka ngusengere imana now let me pray for you ahuri pfukama wherever you are please do that cyangwa ahuri ufata umwanya w'umutuzo take a small moment to thank to, to play to God. Mana ndagushimiye kugira neza kwawe. God I please you because you do good to us. Ndagushimiye kuri imana y'imbabazi nyinshi. I thank you because you are a God full of mercy. Ndagushimiye kuvuga bikawa wategeka bigakomera. I praise you because when you speak it happens and when you come out. Ndagushimiye kuri imana ifite ubutware n'ubushobozi. I praise you because you are a God of mercy. Ndagushimiye kuzagaruka. I praise you because you are coming back. And remove all those troubles. Remove all our and remove all our, our fears and remove all that makes us lonely and those who are burdened in our hearts we pray in your name Jesus I pray this one this person who is in your presence I'm praying that you forgive all his sins what he did in his secret that is taking away his peace I'm praying that he receive your mercy and forgiveness in you the blood of Jesus cleans him and the power of Jesus Jesus changed his life. Thank you for your name which is holy Jesus. Amen. 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 Yes, Allah, May God bless you.